welcome back my dear students how are you all i hope you all are doing well so have you enjoyed the story the mysterious picture yes i am sure you all enjoyed the story the mysterious picture so students i want to ask you something do you like paintings yes i know you all like paintings so come i'll show you certain famous paintings and the artist this is mona lisa by leonardo da vinci this one is the mehendi by raja ravi verma this is the haunting moon by m f hussein and this one is pieta by michael angelo so today we are going to start a new story from the unit hues and views the title of the story is the boy who drew cats and the author of the story is hasegawa tegjiro so in the story you will see a boy who is a painter and who knows only to draw cats and it's a japanese folk tale so first of all we'll have a look at the profile of the author hasegawa tegjiro was born in 1853 and he died in 1938 he was an innovative japanese publisher specializing in books in european languages on japanese subjects he employed leading foreign residents as translators and noted japanese artists as illustrators and became a leading purveyor of export books and publications for foreign residents in japan so i hope you got a clear picture of the author hasegawa tetsuro now let's see the summary of the story so listen carefully a farmer has many children who all are hard working except for his youngest who is small and weak and only interested in drawing pictures of cats he decides his son is not cut out to be a farmer and sends him to a temple to study with a priest the boy spends all his time drawing cats instead of studying the priest tells him he is better suited to being an artist and should return home as he sends him on his way the priest warns the boy avoid large places at night keep to the small ashamed of being dismissed the boy decides not to return to his father's farm instead he travels to another temple in the hopes he can ask for a night's shelter not realizing all the priests living there have long ago been driven away by a giant goblin rat when the boy arrives he finds the place deserted and decides to draw cats on the wall as he begins to feel tired he remembers the old priest's words and climbs inside a little cabinet to go to sleep during the night he hears horrible sounds of screaming and fighting when morning comes and he finally climbs out he discovers the corpse of the goblin rat as he wonders what could have killed it he notices that all his cats now have blood on their mouths he is hailed as a hero for defeating the monster and grows out to be a famous artist one who only draws cat so in the next class onwards we will see the text in detail so thank you students